Hello, uh, this is Colatius and Latius, but this video will be posted on Facebook. I don't know who the hell was even posted on my YouTube. I haven't actually posted a manga -y video in a long ass time, but uh, this is a video definitely for Instagram for the purpose of the fact that I finally got my ass to make this video for starters. But uh, <clears throat> okay, so I made a clear path because I had to, because everything was just. Um, there feels weird that it's clean. I don't know. I might I, I kind of like it looking clean I had to like l literally move all of that I'm like I have too many things here, but Another day. <laughs> so what is this video about as you can see? This thing here. So once upon a time and I really hate yen press for this and specifically yen press because if anybody knows in the world of manga <clears throat> at least the one of the companies that I collect. Yen Press is expensive, okay? These manga used to go, I've been collecting it for a long ass time. That series in particular, I got the rare shit right here. So yeah, that's when they started raising the prices up. 22 and you saw that other price tag. Don't even tell me, oh, the book is bigger. No, it's just, <clears throat> I gotta remove things. Oh, doubt, dude. I remember when I first read it online, when they first announced it, I'm like, I'm buying another, another good series. Yeah, another, another good series. It's confusing as hello, though. Hello? Oh, this is volume one. Ha, 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 ha. So, big book. As you can tell how yellow it looks. Does it matter? Where is the price tag? Eighteen dollars. Yep. These should I forgot when they started raising the prices up specifically. What the hell was the volume I just grabbed? This is number nine, huh? What the hell is number nine doing on the top? <laughs> so it's like I got the whole series here up to oh one of my favorite arcs, in all honesty, which is arc 7, huh? So yeah, as you can tell, they raised the prices up. Why do I keep bringing that up? In specific, is because of the fact that they kept raising it, I stopped collecting it. Because I'm like, yo, they did that with this. And then I wanted to buy the Corpse Party manga, which I have the 5, but they released the other Corpse Party. I think it was like 30 bucks? And I'm like, no, nah, fam, I, I can't. $20. Oh, they raised it up even more. <laughs> Y'all see what I mean by that? So, just to prove a point. 22 I guess bigger. Okay, fine. I guess it justified. Wait. I didn't realize they raised the prices like that much, man. I'm like, yo, 22 And then you started having the 20 whatever and then it got up to $30 so I'm like no I can't collect them anyway it was like $30 a piece no matter how big these things are <laughs> so lo and behold to this day if there was one series I completely regretted not ever finishing would be the Umineko series forget Higurashi it's it's a longer series I have a lot of it but not all of it Higurashi no Noko Koroni and Kai, I guess. And Umineko when they cry. <laughs> this is the one series I completely regret ever not finishing it. Considering how, I guess, these things have never been reprinted ever. Because if they have, I can guarantee you. <laughs> 2013, yeah. Like I said, I've been collecting since 2012. So it's been that long. Umineko is a good series. I listen to the soundtrack of it to this day, even after years. It is one of my favorite soundtracks in the enemy or anything ever. The soundtrack to Umineko is the best. The game is the best. The manga is freaking awesome. So, how did I actually end up with this series? I've had this, I bought this from eBay, okay? This is quite important because the earlier volume, this is why this worked out really well. Because the point where I stopped that is the absolute most expensive rarity. So out of print, OOP, right? So I was like, oh, fuck. Now I kind of regret not buying it because $30 could easily be $100, $200 just for one volume. That's just 
how these things work. So, what happened? Lo and behold, sometimes I would check on eBay. <clears throat> yes, eBay. And uh, this is the volume that I stopped at. Oh, no, no, not this one. But this one is actually kind of rarer than the other two, I believe. I think. So, what's your name? Leon? 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 I think. Rokenjima. So, during the time when I looked at it, because we, we were talking about something, mom, dad, or something, I was like, you know what? Here's this one series. I definitely regret never finishing it. It's this. So, I looked at eBay, and the seller, here's the first one. Oh, this is Leon. Leon. Oh, Will. <laughs> I'll freaking, he's honestly my favorite character in this series. I looked up on eBay, and I'm like, no, am I seeing this right? <laughs> so, this seller, I don't know what they were thinking when they actually sold it exactly. This is the last volume. Here. This is Batara's sister and little Angie right there. Both, they're the same. You can see her ass all the way. So, oh, oh, oh no, where's the... <laughs> Did I lose track? Oh, no. They're all here. Where'd it go? Oh. oh. Okay, they're all here. They're all here. So, this is where my luck became very lucky. So, the seller... If you go on eBay right now and you type in this series, you're not going to even see this. And if you do, it's only certain volumes. That day, just so happened, I typed in the series. Because I sometimes check just for the hell of it to see what they're actually selling it and how much. And this seller, and I bless this seller because I don't think I'm going to get a lucky find like this, was selling it for $200. Now, yes, $200 is a lot. However... All, okay, so here's the trick. All of these are actually 30 So for six of them, it's $180, right? You factor in taxes. I'm, I don't know how much taxes, but uh, let's just say $20, maybe $25, $30. I, I don't know how much. I don't usually buy that much expensive items like that every day either, you know? Uh, it's mainly like electronics. So I rounded it up to 200 for taxes, right? And the reason why this is so important is because they literally charged exactly how much I would have gotten it if, say, I got it from Barnes & Nobles or that. So the fact that this seller actually sold it for 200 I'm like, oh my god, I wish I had the money. Because I told my parents, hey guys, they're selling this last part of the series that is exactly 200 Well, I think, how much did I pay? I had to get 200 Yeah, it was all 200 I'm like, that's the retail price I legit would have paid for Barnes & Well, I do have the 10% discount, but it would have not made a difference. So, I'm like, oh, I would never... I'm like, oh, shit. <laughs> so, uh... <clears throat> what happened is, that night, my parents surprised me. They gave 100 each of their own money. I'm like, how'd they do that? I'm like, actually, no, not how they do that. Obviously, I know how, but uh, why did they do that? I don't know. So it's thanks to my mom and dad I was able to get these. Had it not been for them, this once-of-a-lifetime deal would have been kaput. I've been ordering online for a very long time, for many, many, many years. This is the absolute first time I've ever ordered $200 worth of merchandise on eBay. I was incredibly nervous because I've never bought that kind of expensive thing. I don't like to do so, especially if it's electronic. I'm not, oh, electronics and online, bro. No, thank you, man. I just don't like that. <laughs> so that's how I ended up with the whole series. This is the one absolute regret I have not ever finishing it. And oh my god, it's so good. It's so good. One of my absolute favorite and completely entirely mystery fucked up shit you could possibly come up with. Obviously, Ryukishi. Yeah. He good, man. He, he know what he doing, bro. So, yeah, for 200, I count my blessings because if I ever see it, if any other 
for this because these ones that I was missing was actually it seems to be the cheapest because the other ones I can actually sell them and they could make a decent amount of money. I could make a good amount of money some is even selling for a thousand or four hundred and not even the whole thing too you know so it's like it's just I know it sounds expensive but if you're a collector and stuff this is usually very normal when things just go rare especially when they don't print it anymore in a good series if you don't own the manga and obviously to collect it don't even try it just don't i just got lucky and i was just collecting them until i s stopped from this here higurashi no no kokoru ni and umeneko is really good series the manga is good the game is amazing now I'm pretty sure there's a way you can all mod it because they do have it on Steam. I played the Steam. Unfortunately, not very smart on how these things work, so I wasn't able to change it around to play it with the PS3 voice acting and graphics. So the one that I played was with Steam release with their new sprite updates and uh, no voice acting. But at least the good thing was, although there was no voice acting, I got to keep the volume on a little louder because there was no voice acting at least that's one good thing so do play the game but if you have the chance to read the manga online do it you won't regret it this is one of the best absolute series you could see my hairy leg don't give a shit this is one of the best series you could possibly get have some tissues on you because oh when I found out how this thing ended, I'm like, no. I'm like, are you for real? <laughs> uh, like I said, is anybody familiar with this series? Because I can tell you, he's one of my favorites. Bia, Bia Torichi is also one of my other favorites, even though she pisses me off, bro. <laughs> and then, I like Angie, little... Angie. There's one lady that pisses me off. She kind of does. What she does to us, she annoyed the fuck out of me, bro. But the worst of it is Erika. <laughs> there she is. I call her the bitch. You know why? Oh my god. If you if you hear her voice, first of all, she's a... Oh my god. I have never... This author did a good job making her from me to be pissed off from her. I hate her. I hate her. I hate her. And I hate her. But at least she kind of re <laughs> oh, when But still. <laughs> so yeah. Uh, I hope that you enjoyed this. Ooh. This is a long video. Can this even be uploaded? <laughs> I don't even know. At least not on Twitter. You know what? Maybe I can upload this on YouTube and make a shorter version for Instagram. At least... At least we can have something to talk about. Because even if you don't know the series, I highly recommend that you read it. Between Higurashi and Umineko, I like this. Oh, and Battler. Battler. Battler Sama. Him. The main boy, so to speak. Yes. He's also one of my favorites. <laughs> uh, he's voiced in the Japanese version by Daisuke Ono. If you are familiar with voice acting in Japan, he's definitely the famous like Matthew Mercer kind of person that's the first thing that popped into my mind because I like his voice acting Yuri Lonto Yosuke he that's the kind of person that he is so yes I guess I should upload this on YouTube because this is gonna be exciting we have something to talk about that's not a game I haven't done this in forever so yeah I'll see you later bye try it it's good even the game. The game? Oh, I guarantee you the game will give you... I don't even know. It took me like a hundred hours to finish because it's really long. Like, I think maybe a hundred... Maybe longer. It depends on how fast you read too. Yep. Let's see. Who else annoys me? Who the fuck is that? Oh, that's... Eva. That's her other self. Not other self. Her younger self. I don't like her that much either. Maria. Maria. <laughs> She's adorable. So yeah, I'll see you later. Bye. <coughs> Oops, little cough.